baby. Look, this is so beautiful, baby. Good job, good job. Look at that one. Oh, oh my God. So beautiful. Good job. Look, she's wearing a beautiful, beautiful. That's your baby. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video of Forever Garcia. I don't know if you guys could tell by the background where I'm at or probably the beginning of the video, but the day has <laughs> finally come. How you feeling, babe? Excited. You ready to see your little princess? Yeah. You haven't showed him the belly in a long time, so show him. Well, it has the stuff on it. I'm guessing this is for her heartbeat, right? Yeah, that's her heartbeat right there. 147 beats a minute. My water broke this morning. It was like around 7.30. And it is currently 9.13. You ready? I'm ready. We're about to become parents? Yep. So far, Vanessa is how many centimeters dilated? I'm only two right now. But I can't obviously leave because my water broke and yeah. They said it has to be between Six eight to, to sixteen hours. Eight to sixteen, yeah, eight to sixteen, my bad. Saturday was the due date. Yep. Which was the twenty seventh of November. Today is the twenty second. Oh. oh man, she's moving. <laughs> she is moving. But she just woke me up this morning right before I was gonna head to work. She said, babe, I think my water broke. How did I wake up, babe? You're like, huh, what, what? I gotta go, I gotta go. Yo, I got up, I dropped my phone and everything on the floor. I wanted to make sure and get her to the hospital as quick as I could. <laughs> I'm over here like, I'm over here like, babe, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna shower, it's okay, you know, we can't waste time, we can't waste time. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't worried. I was just, I just wanted to make sure my baby was, you know, with the fluids that she needed to be. I'm not a doctor, so I wasn't sure she was going to lose more fluids and we had to get there ASAP. But, baby girl on the way. Yep, we're doing this. We brought a whole bunch of things. We're going to make some more videos for you guys, but like we, we said. We're actually going to record, we were actually going to record our, our, um, what's in our hospital bag today and look. Okay, so I got a couple things here. Got some computer clothes in here. Vanessa's stuff in here. Her makeup in this bag. Got like this baby bag. We're gonna be moving into the delivery room here pretty soon. They just made sure not too long ago that she broke her water, um, just to make sure that we didn't mistake it for anything else. Um, and sure enough, she broke her water. So. Today is the day. Today or midnight tomorrow. Early, early morning. I won't be a dad. You nervous? No. Excited. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Are you having any type of contractions? I can feel like I started feeling contractions not too long ago. But when my water broke I didn't. I wasn't feeling anything. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay. You have any contraction? Yeah. What's it feel like? What's it feel like? Yeah. Like a lot of pressure down here. And then it just goes away. Like, yeah, it, go, it went away. It's so weird. It's like 30 seconds, right? Hello, hello. We 
made it into the delivery room. This is where we're gonna have our beautiful, beautiful daughter. So we're just here, kind of just, you know. Waiting it out. Waiting it out right now. It's been six, I seven, eight, nine. I got my IV in. All this good stuff. We're just waiting. What time is it? It is 10.19. 10.19, wow. Already. It's crazy. Yep. They hooked her up to the same stuff. 150 beats a minute. Excuse my messy hair. How do I look, babe? You look beautiful. You sure? Yeah. Um, so how, how are your contractions feeling? Um, so this is one thing I don't want to, I don't want to say, I don't want to ever say it's painful because I don't want that word in my head or in my mind. So they're, right now they're, they're fine. I can, like, I have contractions, but I'm having contractions, but they're not bad. I'm just, um, trying to stay calm and have faith over fear. Yeah, I have faith that God will um, get me through this, and um, yeah, I'm just I'm not I'm not scared. I am not. Um, I'm just excited. I don't know. I'm like not. I don't know. I'm very excited. God has like I I know God has been so great to me lately. He's been so good to me. Um, he definitely has a plan. Like, he has, he has a plan because God has been giving, um, both of us signs that we were going to be going into labor soon. Um, one sign was, uh, um, uh, one of our, one of our good friends, um, his name is Marvin. He, he said that we were going to have the baby on Tuesday. Today's Monday, so he said he, we were going to have the baby on Tuesday. So that just kind of gave us, you know, um, a sign. We feel like God prophesies through him. Yeah, um, we just feel like that was definitely God speaking. Like, hey, you're gonna have this baby Tuesday. And not only that, but um, I had to go to, I had to be at work. Like when? Oh yeah. I had to be at work at like nine, and I never go in at nine. No, he all he he works in. Uh, it's pretty far from here. Um, and he has to be there very early and I have to leave the house early, but yeah, but the same time that I leave the house is the same time that your water broke. Yeah. So I was actually going to sleep in a couple hours before I left. Yeah. Cause he would go in at nine and, and it's actually something that, um, that we've actually been worried about, or especially I have, because like I work about like an hour and a half, the job site's like an hour and a half from, from the town and city that we live in right now. And um, so I didn't want her to go into labor and me have like an hour or two of traffic. Um, that's what I was worried about. But, you know, I feel like God does everything for a reason. And um, I don't know. I just we're not going to tell him the name yet, um, but we're going to make another video for the name. But they, you know what? We'll just save the whole story for for another time for the name. Right. Like, we know what we're going to name her already, but there's another story that God was showing us as well, like, on what to name her. We're about to be parents. <laughs> so, doctor just came in to check on, on baby, and she said that it could be anywhere from 24 hours, right? Up to 24 oh, hours. We don't really know what time, so it's like the first baby is really hard to deter because she hasn't had another baby before, so I have bad news. They don't want us, they don't want me to film the delivery, but I'm not going to film the delivery. I'm probably just going to film the audio facing away from the delivery. I got you guys.
so they just gave Vanessa um, Pitocin, right? That's what it is, Pitocin. And um, it's pretty much just to engage your contractions. That's what that's for, right? Small rundown of what it is. I'm not a doctor, guys, so if I'm wrong, correct me. How you feeling, babe? I'm doing good. Yeah? I'm doing good. Um, I'm feeling the contractions stronger, but I'm doing. I'm still doing good so far. So I just went to go to use the restroom. Yep. So I'm just just kind of hanging in here. Just hanging on, huh? Just hanging on. Just waiting. We're gonna be here soon. What's going on guys? Alright, so another update. Um, Vanessa's been on Pitocin for about, I want to say three hours. Um, her contractions, they're still the same. She's been getting a little bit more contractions, but she hasn't been really, you know, she don't look like she's being phased by the pain. I'm eating a popsicle right now. You eating a popsicle? Yeah, because I can't have food. My stomach's already growling. You just laying there chilling, huh? Yep. That's another thing about this pregnancy. She's been chewing on ice. She never used to chew on ice before she was pregnant. I loved eating ice. I absolutely loved eating ice. But all of a sudden, she just loves ice as soon as she's pregnant. All right, guys, so Vanessa's starting to feel contractions and it is currently about 3.38 p.m. Um, they're about 30 seconds long and a frequent average frequency on her contractions about like every two minutes um that was only four contractions so you hanging in there uh -huh. another one another one all right let's start it let me know when it stops So that one was 36 seconds long, or 37 seconds long. Baby's gonna be here anytime. <laughs> Soon, right? All right, guys. So currently, it's about it is uh, 7:22, and um. Vanessa's contractions are getting a little bit more stronger. Um, she's right here next to me. I'm not going to show you guys what she looks like right now just because she's really hurting. But I'm right here with her. Right, baby? You got this, babe. Alright guys, so it's currently about like 8 o'clock right now, um, Vanessa's contractions are starting to get a little bit stronger and they're coming closer. Um, they actually prescribed her Pitocin at like 12 p.m. today and it's about to be 8 p.m. right now. Um, but we tried telling the nurse that the Pitocin wasn't going into the IV um, the right way. Um, but right now at shift change, the new nurse came in and she noticed it and um, she actually fixed it for us. and. Those contractions are kicking in quick. So uh, right now uh, she's starting to feel a lot of contractions. She's, uh, they're coming on stronger and I'm just gonna try to be here for her as much as I can. And uh, for our little baby girl, we can't wait to see you. Daddy loves you so much. Mommy loves you very much. Thank you. 
It is 10.32 at night. We're still going. 16 hours of labor so far. You're still going strong and you finally got something to eat, right? Yeah, they told me I could have something to eat. Um, and they took me off Pitocin for a little bit um, so the baby can get oxygen because my contractions were like every like minute. So I wasn't getting a break, but I'm still not dilating like much. So they told me I could eat a little, a little bit. So I ate. Um, I'm just waiting. It is actually 10 o'clock, November tw 23rd, babe. November 23rd. Vanessa had a really, rough, really, really rough night. Um, she ended up getting the epidural, but just because it's been a long labor so long, so far it's been about 28 hours, and she's just holding it down. She's a strong woman. I'm just here, just waiting it out. It's a long, it's a long process for her because it's her first birth. So. I didn't think it was gonna be this long, but it's taking a long time. I look yeah. kind of tired. But for right now, we're just still playing the waiting game. Um, she's actually about six or seven centimeters dilated. So she should be here today. Definitely, she yeah. has to. <laughs> she's got to be here today. We are one hour away, babe. One hour away. You ready to see your little baby girl? Ready to see her? You ready? Yeah. We got one more hour till we start pushing. Right now I'm 10 cent, uh, centimeters dilated, um, but they want to give it one more hour so baby can push down more because they're thinking it's a pretty big baby. <laughs> A little over 30 hours in labor. Um, Vanessa such a she's such a strong woman, and um, she's gonna get through this. So we're gonna get through this together. I can't wait to eat, and I can't wait to shower and brush my teeth. It's not even. You're not even pregnant. Okay. It's like almost like a girl sign to me. Come on, come on. 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 I'm pregnant. <laughs> As you guys We're know, pregnant. We're pregnant. I'm gonna be a dad.